Alright guys, so on my left, I have a bunch of shoes that I have to review. And I'm actually pretty impressed with my ability to keep all these shoes in stock and like keep replenishing my supply even in a dry month such as January which is known to be just about the driest month of the entire year. I do feel like this January is not as dry but today the shoe that we got for your head tops are the Nike Dunk Low in the Valentine's Day colorway I guess you can say and for those of you guys who don't know these dropped about a week ago and they were actually pretty hard to get because they shock dropped at around 12 o'clock and then they re-dropped at 12.40 because the initial shock drop, shock drop was very hard to get in and I don't think it was working at all. So they basically dropped twice and one of the times didn't even work so that was an interesting one. And yeah, this is a shoe in all of its glory, the Nike Don't Glow Valentine's Day. So this is not the first time that Nike has done a Valentine's Day themed shoe. They tend to do it almost every year, I want to say, at least for the past few years. We have the Strange Love Nike SB Dunks, which are obviously like a staple in any SB Dunk collector's collection. Everyone loves those. They're really nice but also really expensive. Then you got the Valentine's Day Air Force ones, which are also very clean. They share some in common with the certified Loverboy Air Forces with the hearts on the toe box and whatnot. And then you got the Nike Dunk Lowe's Valentine's Day. And same idea, I mean, it's a Valentine's Day shoe and it is actually branded as such, so I'm not just guessing it is an actual valentine's day tribute so if you have someone special in your life these would be like a perfect shoe to get um for this time of the year i guess you can say jumping into some of the details let's first take a quick look at the box even though it is literally just your regular nike dunk box size eight and a half which is kind of a random size but I couldn't get my size, so I just went for an eight and a half. Um, and let's take a look at some of the details on the shoe. So on the lateral side, you have my favorite part, which is this pink swoosh. Um, very nice pink swoosh. It's also pretty tumble, like leather-wise. Um, but then the upper is predominantly white and maroon with these pink hits all across the shoe. So you got the pink swoosh, you got the maroon and then the cream and then on the back you got more maroon on the back heel you got nike in white on top of a pink overlay and then those same three colors the medial side is exactly the same as the lateral side and then on the front you got these maroon laces which i don't think was the best choice to be honest they don't come with any spare laces either, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, you also got a pink Nike tongue tab right there. So yeah, pretty nice on that front. Um, on the bottom you got this maroon outsole. And then that's pretty much some of the major details with the shoe. In terms of sizing, they are going to run true to size like most Nike Dunks do. Um, they do seem to have a decent amount of padding as well, which should add to comfort at least a little bit. The inside, you got Nike in pink right there, as you can see. And in terms of material quality, um, I would say not the best, actually. The white leather seems to be pretty tumble, but then this maroon is kind of like a panda dunk kind of leather. So nothing all too great quality wise. Taking a quick look at the other side, the left shoe, same exact deal, same colors all across the shoe itself on the lateral, on the medial. Yeah, exact same deal, no extra laces. So a pretty boring shoe to be honest. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't think it's all that nice. My personal opinion is that if they switch the maroon for like Maybe a red or something. 
I don't even know what they would switch it for, but something about the maroon just throws it off. This pink, actually, if they did like a pink, maybe this pink and then the swoosh maroon, it could have been better. All I'm saying is, this shoe could have been executed much better, especially since the Nike SB Dunk, like Strange Gloves and the other Valentine's Day collabs were very unique and special and something that people are usually um, in pursuit of and then these are kind of just boring. The resale prices definitely reflect that. They pretty much completely bricked. So these will be going back to Nike ASAP. Unfortunately, because I thought that these would go for the high, but they really didn't end up that way. So if you want a pair, you can just buy them now. They're really going for pretty much retail. Um, and yeah, with that being said, that's pretty much it for this shoe right here. I can't do it on feet because they're not my size. I can't squeeze into an eight and a half with my size 10 foot. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to go elsewhere for that on feet. But um, a lot of people don't even have these in hand yet. So I think this was one of the first videos that I've personally seen about the Valentine's Day dunk. And yeah, uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you all very soon.